All right, YouTube, we are here for round number two of the challenge. Uh, we're th round four, round five. We're three and one. I'm going to mulligan this hand. just doesn't quite do enough. This hand's kind of better. Keep scry land at the top. You'll be in good shape. Like they're double queuing the popper challenge, which is very annoying. I think it's pretty good. If I hit a second land drop, I'm like playing magic. But this hand's pretty soft to wasteland. I'm gonna go help my wife take the cards away. Or, oh, they're back. Okay. They're double queuing, so I was figured I'd have some time, but they just showed up. Volcanic Island. So means we're playing against like Sneaking Show or Delver. That was a great draw. I think we're playing against Sneaking Show. Nothing on turn one from our opponent is a little. I think I'm gonna. I'm just gonna spell pierce this because. I'm going to play Stoneforge Mystic next turn, and my Spell Pierce doesn't do anything. So I might as well get out ahead of it. I'm going to hold my fetch land. And just hope that, that, you know, they needed that ponder in order to set up. I'm not going to fight over this. My opponent, like, Force of Wills this, or we're playing against Delver and they daze it then that's just the cost of doing business. But I think we're playing against Sneak and Show. Okay. That's nice. We'll get our Batter Skull. We have Force Plus Blue card and Batter Skull. It's kind of the best this deck can do game one against these combo decks. Oh, okay. We got something completely different going on here. I'm actually just going to let this happen. Just going to go get a vault or another tundra. for one. My opponent has quite a bit of an advantage on us considering we mulligan and they are the upper card. It's okay. Field my Stoneforge Mystic. Stoneforge Mystic isn't really what this matchup's about anyways. I like to hit a land drop. So I shuffle away this batter skull. Ooh, they're thinking about they're thinking about doing something here. Fluster Storm doesn't do it. It'd have to be like, if they force this, then, then whatever, they force this. That is okay for the home team. We'd like to hit two, like a land and a blue card, and then put back Batter Skull and another card. Okay, so put back this. Put back this. Because now, True Name is my pitch card. And I have Snap Spell Pierce. And if Snap Spell Pierce doesn't work, then I can play Jace. And I'm, well, I might play, I think I'm gonna play my Jace. Depends on what my opponent does here. Yeah, I'm not gonna play Jace into four open mana. But I will draw my Ponder. Go get a planes. All right, I wouldn't mind hitting a land drop this turn. So I can I can just do a land drop and jam my Jace. I'm just gonna jam Trinity Nemesis like. 
Streaming is a different kind of problem for them. Okay. We have a Snapcast image on top of our deck. Oh, don't do it. Hopefully this is a brainstorm. Spell pierce, okay. All right. So I think I'm gonna snap Council's Judgment. Get rid of this Jace. We have a Snapcaster Mage on the field, at least. Like I said, these game one matches up against Miracles are tough. So I'm kind of forced to just jam my Jace the Mind Sculptor here. Because I can't really do nothing. waited but I don't know it doesn't feel great to wait against a deck that's got okay. so it's on the, the beat down plan we're in a lot of trouble here Yeah, we're not gonna play. We're not gonna play against the Jace. Okay. So we're gonna sideboard the same way we have been. Where we're gonna cut the Arid Mesa, cut a Force, cut a Jet, cut the Back to Basics. Though maybe it's worth keeping the Back to Basics in because we saw how aggressively they were searching for duels I wonder if I can do that they, they've looked for duels really fast we might be able to just get them the disenchants kind of suck especially when we have like enough a lot of answers to them we have a million three drops though I'm gonna go like this. They they fetched out. They were going so aggressively for duels that we might just be able to get them with a back to basics. It's a lot of three. I usually don't keep this many three drops in my deck, but I'm gonna see if I can get them here. Cause like they were really aggressive on fetching, um, fetching duels. I'll keep my hand and I shall ponder on one to find me another land drop. Don't want that true name yet. So I'm gonna fetch it, I'm gonna shuffle that away. The awkward thing is I probably have to go get a Tundra in order to do that. 
we're saying rip back to basics. Let's go rip back to basics. I'm just going to go land go and I'm going to click my opponent on their turn. Oh, thanks, Arch Wizard. Arch, um, Arch Wizard, I appreciate the nice comments. This is great because I like how this is probably going to work out. Probably gonna get blasted. Brainstorm. Oh, they're brainstorming in response because they're not going to be able to brainstorm. Or they might be looking for just a force of will because they can force of will. They can let the everything get off the stack and force of will the Narset. Looks for more gas. Well, this is good for the home team. So I can actually, sh well, maybe I should have done this a different way. So take this force, brainstorm. I'm going to put that. I want these forces to pair and I want to hit a land drop. So I might actually just put back Stoneforge Mystic and then put back like. Problem is, what card do I not want under my Stoneforge Mystic? Maybe I'll just put the Stoneforge Mystic on the bottom. I go like this and then go like that. Oh, I can't even play my true name with the counter spell up. Whoops. Do that next turn. I messed up here. It's kind of mad. Like, it's good out of the sideboard against the blue decks and the combo decks. We have a Stoneforge Mystic coming. I think that's going to be our threat. Flash in this Snapcaster Mage, rearrange my ordering of my cards here because I want to draw the Stoneforge Mystic now. I'm just going to counterspell this. Because while I do have a Narset in play, I'm also like want to use my mana next turn.
But if I let that Jace resolve and then they kill my Narset, like, I'm in just such a problem. I'm, like, very far behind. I don't want Judgment it when I can just Judgment a, uh... I'll get everything going here. I'll wait on that for a turn. Okay. Well, it gets a time that way. Sucks we missed the palace jailer there. I'm gonna ponder. I don't want any of these. I might want this. Um, I actually think I want the verdict because like, I want I want some defense against monastery mentor. Yeah, I'm gonna take the verdict. Mentor's a mentor's a beating. Play the skull. I'll fetch in my upkeep because I don't want another spell pierce. Crap. Scoops it up. Yeah, I think Narset's a good card out of the sideboard of this deck. All right, so we're not going to, like, to hell with these back basics. I haven't seen a counterbalance yet from my opponent, and, like, I think it's pretty likely they do have them, but I'm going to bring in one. I think I'm going to have a third true name in here. It's just, like, so important to be able to get a threat going eventually and just attack the Planeswalkers once you're, once you're um, stable. It's going to be harder to back to basics them out on the draw. Okay, keep this hand. It's pretty weak to... Alright, I'm just going to play a fetch land and go. I'm not going to play into this pyroblast right here. I might end a turn brainstorm. It's usually not a great thing to do, but yeah, you're good. But I think I need to get something going here. That's okay. Shuffle my library. No. Phil has uh, issues with his ear. Uh, we're three and one. They're in game three. So he's gonna, they're going to spell Pierce. That's okay. I'll just play Stoneforge Mystic. Unfortunately, I have to shuffle away my Narset, but, like, that's just the life that we're in. Go get Batter Skull. 
I have an easy force pitch snapcaster mage because I just don't I don't have um because I can't flash anything back with snapcaster. Should attack. Land. I'm going to do this right now while my opponent can't click me. This plays poorly into a Jace, but like, can't play around everything. Tapping. It's good for the home team. We drew a pretty good one. I'm going to attack with this as well. Ooh, the old Caracas lock here. Yep. They likely leave me with everything here. Now I wish I had my back to basics really bad. Because dealing with this click is going to be so difficult. They can just jam Jace, bounce, they know they can. And they know it. Definitely should have, wish I had back to basics. Should have left back to basics in. So the best way to deal with the red splashes. Like we're we were incentivized to keep in. Like we had to fetch a dual land. So I don't think my opponent has a very strong hand because they would just they'd obviously be. Like they'd be doing something. Their hand was good. And they're just sitting here. Unless they're like tanking in their popper match. <clears throat> yeah, they're probably paying attention to their popper match, which is annoying. While I do that, I'm going to start running to give my wife a hug and said hi in a second, so I'll be right back. Here comes a Teferi. Teferi's good. I think this card is really solid right now in Legacy. I'm gonna let this get tucked because I'm actually just gonna flash my Snapcaster Mage in and then hope that I hit a land to play my Jace. Then I'll just bounce this Vendillion click. And hope their last card isn't Swords to Plowshares. Rip. Now 
just we're just super dead to this Teferi. Now they're gonna Vendillion click lock me. I'm in trouble. Yeah, I need I needed to hit Jace right there. And into an into R set. Yeah. This is a curve I'm not coming back from. Oh, I should have countered that. Well, I couldn't have. Now the Jace doesn't even do it because I can't attack with it. Or like I can't brainstorm. Vendillion click lock is gonna be like demoralizing. Uh, let me deal with this to fairy while I can. Like so he's gonna look at my Jace. So he actually has to let this die. Unless he's got a, and if he's got a pyroblast here, he's got a pyroblast. Such is life. Alright. Okay, that's gonna do it for me today. I'm I'm gonna keep playing, but I'm likely out of the top eight. My wife just got home, so I'm gonna hang out with her. Um We'll send you guys over to uh, Anzi.